Well, a hearty welcome to you. We are showing you today the finals of the Western Province Personal Trust Singles. That's men and ladies as well as the novices. Now, while the players are still busy playing the trial ends, I'd like to give you the results of the semi-finals. It would appear to me that the match that we are streaming has already started, and that is between Peter Harvey from Constantia and Stefan Kuhn from Somerset West. In between, I will give you the results. Stefan Kuhn had a very tough game against Neil Burkett, the international player, but he beat him. And that is why he's in the final. And Peter Harvey was up against David van der Walt from the Mowbray Bowls Club. And uh, Peter Harvey, I think two years ago, he was in a similar position. Um, playing here at Durbanville in a final. Harvey is ready to deliver. A very good shot. Let's see how this one is going to finish from Stefan Kuhn. Just misses the jack. to watch the marker on the opposite side there. The marker in this match is Etienne Malerbe, also a man that's represented his province. Well, that was the completion of the first end. Cole, did you get an indication there what the result was? One shot. One shot to Peter Harvey. Peter Harvey plays out of Constantia. And the Constantia club really uh, having a very good run at the moment. Up till yesterday, they were second from the top in the Premier League that is played here in Western Province. But unfortunately, they went down to Durbanville. Uh, but they are doing very, very well. And you will hear, uh, when I give you some results of the semi-finals, uh, if my memory serves me correct, there are three players from the Constantia club that is uh, playing in a final here today at Durbanville. A beautiful day, a light southeaster blowing. Uh, it won't affect the players too much and I think we're going to be in for some very, very good bowls. Stefan Kuhn has delivered a good bowl just about a half a meter behind the jack. And Peter Harvey obviously is going to try and get inside that ball. Okay. 
I thought, uh, Cole, that uh, there were three reddish bowls that were close, and, uh, and that is why um, Peter Harvey is up by three shots. Stefan Kuhn is holding shot on the second end. And uh, my good friend from the Durbanville Bowls Club, Eddie Phillips, has just joined me. He is going to assist today um, with the commentary. Eddie, thank you very much for joining us. Pleasure, Tommy. Welcome, everyone. Good. Uh, it's nice to have somebody where we can, I want to say, put heads together. Stefan Kuhn has uh, really delivered uh, two magnificent bowls so far on this end. And Stefan Kuhn, uh, Eddie, he's an old campaigner. He's been in the Western Province in the district sides for many, many moons. And uh, it's amazing how the cream in a competition like this comes to the top. Yeah. Well, I've seen one of his previous games as well. He, he's not an easy, easy customer. He... Is that Stefan? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've often he's said... Very methodical in his approach. Very, and I've always said he's one of the players in Western Province that can play all the shots out of the Bulls book. He knows it. It sounds like it would be two. It looks like two. We'll just see what our uh, marker says. And uh, Cole, you'll... Uh, right. So, according to my book, the score must be 2-3. Uh, Correct, Eddie. Have you checked that little? That's yeah, two, three. it's three. I can see it now. There was just somebody that was uh, obscuring my view, so now I can see the flip chart at the other side. And I think we're going to be in for a for a very closely contested match here today. Eddie, did you mark the game this morning between Kuhn and Burkett? No. No, oh, no, you were next door. That's right. But you still had a bird's eye view to see what was happening there. Yeah, no, <laughs> Kuhn had a quick start. He was up quite a few, actually. And then Neil came a bit back. But he managed to, to pull it through the end. Stefan Kuhn so far has found the weight quite nicely. His line is also very good. And he's got two bowls uh, very close to the jack. It'll be interesting if we can have a shot um, from our cameraman to just show you the very uh, particular way of delivering the bowl that Harvey has got, it's like a push. It's, it's, it's not a pendulum. He's got a very short backswing. Kun, uh, the arm flows through beautifully. P. 
Peter Harvey has been uh, also a man that's represented Western Province in the, in the districts. Unfortunately, the bowl just ran through. It touched uh, Kuhn's bowl, but there was no result for him. I think it's Peter's third year that he's in the finals. Last year he lost against Herman. Thanks, Herman. That's correct. And the year before that he... Yeah, he, he played here against Nick Rusting, I think. Is that? They were at Somerset West, oh. that was the finals. That was the Western Province Masters. Okay. All right. Peter Harvey has gone up to the head just to make sure exactly what are the positions that the, very, uh, the respective bowls hold and now he's ready. Let's see if we can see that push action with which he delivers the ball. Nice no, arm doesn't swing at all. I think we've just lost our power for a short while, but it's back again. Um, Eddie, you're a coach, so you would know you teach them that they have to take a reasonable backswing and there's got to be the pendulum, eh? Yeah. Well, there's a... Right, our cameramen are just uh, readjusting some cameras, <clears throat> and um, the score at the moment in this the personal trust Western Province men's f final for 2023 is they are peeling with three shots. A piece. So Stefan Kuhn picked up one shot on the third end. And you are watching this broadcast brought to you by Talking Heads. Noel Solomon, the man in charge. His son Cole, he's sitting behind the controls giving us the various uh, images that we get on our monitor. And then our um, cameraman Logan Hodges and Bryce Hodges. And uh, we are very grateful to these guys in the hot sun. There's a light southeasterly breeze, but it won't affect the players. And Stefan Kuhn has got a bowl very close to the jack again. The next one is also quite good, good weight, just the uh, line that's not there. Well, the bit that I saw of Stefan's previous game as well, he had a lot of woods in the head, so his weight control is definitely odd, so he must have good rhythm today. That's an excellent bowl by Peter Harvey. Uh, from our vantage point we can't see who's holding the shot at the moment but let's see what Stefan is going to do about that. Exactly what I thought will happen. Plays a very just a bit over a draw into the head and it the takes front, the bowl out. Front view of Peter's delivery again, oh. just a push. Oh, thanks very much to our cameraman. Very good. That's a good bowl by Peter Harvey. It should be shot. 
interesting to see <coughs> whether Stefan will be able to take that out again. Can Malerba is the marker there? Yeah. Final bowl in this, the fourth end for Peter Harvey. The man playing out of Constantia. Looks like one Eddie. Eddie, uh, while we s wait for Etienne Malerbe to change that, perhaps you can uh, give our viewers the result of the men's novice singles um, that took place earlier on today, um, the semi final. That was Jakub van Tonde versus Francia Klopper, both from Durbanburg. If I may just say something, it's such a pity that the draw often works out like this, that two uh, players from the same club, they, they, they play one another in a semi-final. Yeah, uh, just uh, to bring you up to date, Peter Harvey is leading by one shot, score is 4-3. So yeah, Yaku, Yaku came through, he beat Francois, so he's in the final against Luke Ellis, also from Constantia. Constantia has got a finalist in the novice men, the ladies, novices, the veterans, men's and the uh, um, men's opens here. So. Yeah, yeah, I was saying early on before you joined us that uh, when I uh, updated my sheet here, I, I, re I, I thought that Constantia has got four players mm. in, so the club is doing really, really well. Um, and uh, perhaps you can give us the ladies novices as well. The ladies semi-finals was Diane Pinar versus Sean van Estien from Mowbray. Diane Pinar from Durbanville came through there and she's playing Verdeen Smith from Constantia that beat Angie DeVette from Durbanville. Yeah, and you know, with regard to Diane Pinar, she hasn't been playing bowls very long, but she's a, a ex-golfer. So, you know, I always believe the golfers, if they are good putters, they can be very good bowlers. <laughs> Typical. All right. She was a ball of nerves this morning. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine because that's the first time that she was in. A, a, a match of this magnitude. Mm -hmm. yeah, Peter seems to be finding the weight. Peter, yeah, he's, he's definitely uh, finding the weight. But I'm sure Stefan Kuhn is going to try and change things a bit. At the moment, Peter is uh, holding at least three shots. Uh, the weight's not bad, little offline. It seems like Peter pulled the mat a little bit, so then it's probably just on 27 meters. Yes. Another lovely bowl covering the back. That's excellent. Now, Eddie, it's so important. Uh, people think that there's not much strategy in bowls, but just moving that mat two meters up or so, you can take your opponent out of his comfort zone. Uh, Stefan was an excellent try there. Yeah. From where we sit, it could well be three shots. Well, maybe a measure for the fourth one. We'll could be. I think the green today is running around 14 seconds with a bit of heat. 
it might even speed up just that half a second. So the weight control is quite critical. Etienne Malerbe at work is the marker. It's very close. Very close. Michael umpire. Umpire. Yeah, first time in the match. They need the umpire to come along. Etienne Malera, the marker, is not prepared to take that decision by himself. Uh, which is a good thing. The umpire is... Oh, that's Mr. Phillips. He's the umpire. And he's from the Western Province Cricket Club. Hmm. Well, so typically they would prop up the jack, make sure that there's no movement on the jack. And also that ball is leaning again, so they would prop that. I guess we're all human, we can make mistakes and Correct. go a little, a little bit in too fast and you just tap it out one millimeter. So the telescope obviously is a very sensitive, but the end can be turned out. So you can start measuring millimeters, half a millimeter. Correct. And this is so important. Yeah. This is a very, yeah, very important. So there you see Alan is changing the, the nip. Yeah. It's a lovely example for, um, you know, other umpires exactly, the instruments, how they can be used. Now I'll come around to Peter Harvey's bowl. That's four. That's four. Indeed. Peter's taking the mat up a little bit. Oh, see the scoreboard says eight. And, uh, oh yes, I see, I made a little Error on my scorecard. That's correct. Score eight four, uh, eight three. I beg your pardon. Uh, eight shots to three, and that is Peter Harvey against Stefan Kuhn. In the ladies' singles, just to give you a little bit of information about that, we saw Mo Lo. She played against uh, Ananda Kotsa Koch, uh, from Goodwood and uh, Mo Lowe is from Mowbray and Mo Lowe, she beat her and she's playing against Susan Mackay Flock from Helderberg. Very interesting that Susan Mackay Flock, she beat uh, the lady from Goodwood as well. Her names they've given you is Johanna Magdalena Sneeman. Uh, better known as. It's better known as. Better known as. Uh, you must help me because it slipped my mind. <laughs> Anneke. Anneke, that's right. <laughs> 
Yeah, and she was in a in a final year just the other day, uh, Eddie, when she played so well. Uh, yeah, that was interesting that Susan Mackay flock uh, went through there. I think also Western Province skip. She is skipping the, the one side, so yeah. And you know, I I'd, I'd like to say something, and uh, not because she's got the same surname as me, but. I spoke to Elsa V. Sneeman from Belleville, who played against Colleen Bryant from Mowbray, and Elsa V. Sneeman beat her. And I said to her, is this the first time that you've progressed so far in a Western Province competition? And she said, yes. Mm. And can you imagine uh, those butterflies that she must be having at the moment? And uh, hopefully she can get them to fly in uh, formation and she is playing against another international player mm -hmm. Sylvia Burns that has represented South Africa on numerous occasions and she's out of the Mowbray uh, Bowls Club. Stefan got a bit of a, a feather there of Peter's front bowl, managed to get a result there. Peter just replacing the ball there, very nicely done. Now he's not going to just give in uh, easily like that. He's going to fight. He is a he is a competitor of note. Stefan has got a beautiful delivery. Hmm. Uh, there were a couple of weeks there that he yeah. wasn't hoping for. Eh? Uh, especially the first one, if he hit his own ball square, it would have been a different result. While they were on the mat, there was quite a bit of wind. It's as if the wind's passing the clubhouse there on that end. Yeah. We have our running mark, Itja Malerba. I think he's Speedy Gonzalez. Yeah, he's the only uh, marker that's, uh, that's uh, jogging to the other end. <laughs> But he's a tennis coach, so I fit suppose he's quite fit. <laughs> we haven't uh, given our viewers the results of the veteran singles. Perhaps if you'd like to do that, Eddie? Yes, uh, I actually marked uh, Ian Rothbard's game against Neil Stoffberg. Uh, Ian is from Constantia. Neil from Milnerton, uh, Ian, Ian beat him quite comfortably actually. Um, Neil struggled with his line a little bit, he said. And he's playing Tom Binns from Milnerton, who beat Nick uh, Bryan from Gordon's Bay, which I think was quite a close match. Yeah, yeah Nick Byrne, he's, a, he, he's also a fierce competitor. He's a, he played lead for a very, very long time. He's a man that, that can draw onto, onto a tiki. So, uh, Bins, uh, I know he's done quite well recently. I've, I've watched some competitions. Tom Bins from Hulleton, so another Constantia man in Ian Rothbard. Right, we've given you all the results of the semi-finals and Stefan Kuhn is delivering from, I never, I, I can never agree what they tell me, where's north here and where's south, but I, I would think this is east from, they're playing east to west, they, uh, yeah. Eddie, that's right. Luckily, they're not going to finish too late. Estimated time about two o'clock, because playing in this direction, the setting sun can sometimes be quite difficult. Mm. 
That's a lovely picture of Stefan Kuhn. There is complete balance. Balance. The Absolutely. Which is quite contradictory to Peter who steps and then yeah. push the livery. So That's right. Two very contrasting styles. So Peter's body is moving forward in his delivery where Kuhn is only bowling with the arm. That's right. Like Dixie said on our coaching course, you know, you can take, take any delivery mechanism or delivery style. With 100,000 hours of practice, you can kind of perfect it. So we do teach sort of a middle of the road, what we refer to as the clinic method. And Kun came with a brilliant shot through to burn the end. So they will replay that. It's the only competition format where burnt ends is replayed. All the other formats is just spotted on the two meter. Well, you know, earlier on we said Kun can play all the shots in the book, yeah. and that was exactly an example of what he can do. Because that was Stefan's last ball, they decided to just play from the other side. You can see our score there, Peter 9-3 up after 6 ends. Yeah, so he's reasonably in control of this match at the moment. And Stefan will just have to make sure that the, the gap does not become too big uh, to eventually catch him. It's not a, a bad bowl, it's, it's a, a bit off balance, it yeah. can on yeah. the ground off these deliveries. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, Stefan, to me, he's got a, a, a classic delivery, it's so beautiful to watch. As you say, and the main thing is his balance is very, very good. Now we're going to see the, the push. Delivery. There we go. That was a bit of a flick. What is the result? Though? Now with Kuhn's delivery, he bent his back leg quite a bit, so mm. his body is nice upright. And, so and you can look at your point of aim without bending your neck too much. And you know, his back leg is, is very well bent, his knee. Mm. I think last one down, this was probably the shot. Oh, they playing into the slight breeze that we've got here. This is completely the opposite um, the weather conditions that we had about two, three weeks ago at Glen in the mi mixed uh, finals, where the Southeaster really caused havoc for us. <laughs> Cole sh shakes his head. We just had to hold on to the monitors and things. Today it's beautiful, nothing troubling us. And uh, Stefan uh, gets the weight right and at the moment is holding sharp.
it's quite interesting Luke Ellis in the novice side for the men also a relatively youngster and all of a sudden you've got all the younger spectators coming to support him as well so it's nice to see a lot of young people here today in the crowds as well yeah I'm, I'm looking at that flip chart at the opposite side there I see it's seven six uh, in that novice game yeah, we're just not sure who's playing with what color I'm trying to identify the color of the sticker on the bowl um, White poles, then the rink next to Peter, Harvey, and them. Uh, I think Yaku is playing with the orange or the red. So he could be down 7 6. He's, he's down 7 6. And pull the shot. <laughs> <laughs> and he draws the shot. <laughs> well well done. done. So okay. Sure. All right. A good tussle going on there at the veterans. Um, but we have to concentrate here on the match that we are bringing to you. I'm just marking to see if the mat is the jacket's legal length. Stefan has won the previous end, so the score is 9-4 in favour of Peter Harvey. Seven ends completed. Thank you, Cole. A good friend of mine from Swellendam came to visit me during the week and I asked him what he thought of our commentary and he said, Tommy, it's reasonably good, he says, but yes, so if you guys can just show us after each end what the score is. So we are doing it today and uh, Richard, I hope you'll be happy with what we're bringing you today because he's a, he was a very good golfer and he's just started playing bowls, so he's very interested. I'm just rolling through there, about a meter and a half. Gee, that was good weight. It's pretty, it um, made contact with Stephen, Stefan's bowl, but it was good weight. Yaku was first off the mat, so he obviously won that previous end there. Yes. Yeah. So there should be seven all, I guess. And the men's novices. You're quite right, Eddie, at the seven all. Excellent bowl by Peter Harvey. Sure. That was so close to the jack. The players were approached the head after the third bowl. So Peter went through with his bowl. To have a view of the head. Eddie, at one stage there was a rule that they brought it at Western Province. If the skip goes up, uh, he, isn't it so that he's got to come back? Uh, but it doesn't uh, apply in, in, in this competition? Um, I think the rules were for flag oh. and others that the skip must, both yeah. the skips must come to the mat together and you can't That's stay right. in the head anymore. Okay. But you can still approach the head after your third That's right. That's it, yeah. And then you can stay there while the other person bowls. Okay. And Peter's just rolling through there. 
Yeah. Be interesting, maybe three even, depending on that front bowl there. Yeah, it's difficult to judge from uh, what we can see, but uh, <coughs> our very energetic marker, yeah, Etienne Malerbe, oh, Peter has already kicked three bowls out. Yeah. So he's conceded three. Yes. Three shots to Stefan Kuhn on the eighth end. And Peter Harvey at present nine shots to seven up against Stefan Kuhn playing out of the Somerset West Bowls Club. Eddie, there's quite a lot of activity here today. We're going to have the prize giving afterwards. Mm -hmm. And then there's going to be the capping ceremony for the Western Province players. And then the Western Province teams are going to have a, a practice here against one another. Yeah. So for the uh, spectators that's come along, there's lots for them to see today. They're going to see their in the district's team or teams in action. And I must say, uh, a very good turnout here at Durbanville. Um, it's lovely to see the people sitting under the umbrellas uh, in the sun. The balcony is packed. Yep. And then this, uh, they said this was a deck, but it's a little like a, like a stoop. Here the guys are really enjoying their drinks uh, in the shade. and. Uh, there's lots of noise, so we've had to close the door. But uh, yeah, lots of action at Urban Mall. Well, I've tried my best to stop the bar better than the previous. You <laughs> <laughs> ran out of coke last time. Oh, well, yes, sir. You know, Eddie, uh, Durban will. Um, a lot of the Western Province finals and so on are stayed here because. You speak to players and they all regard the greens at Durbanville of some of the best in Western Province. And uh, both of us, we are very fortunate to be members at Durbanville, where we enjoy our bowls. Um, but these greens have been, all the years, they've been very, very, very good. Well, I think it's, you know, Everybody just gets to a good standard. I don't think there is a perfect green. I surely don't believe ours is perfect. There is a patch here and there. But in general, there's, there's always good feedback. There's that push action again, eh? Hey? Mm. But he's very, very good with that action. He's got three bows in a wonderful position if he can move the jack a little bit yeah. towards them. Shot is still down uh, to Peter Harvey. Uh, Stefan is holding shot. Yeah, I picked up three shots on the previous end and if he can uh, do this or pick up another one then there's only going to be one difference between the, the two of them. I don't think that is what Stefan really wanted. No, I think he wanted to come to the back and to just to the back, yeah. And you put on that little bit of weight you think to roll through the quite through right. your line because it was quite a short end, so the the line is the aiming point is a little bit narrower. The line is still the same. But yeah. You then bowl through that line. Oh. Peter Harvey also a little bit narrow. Yeah. <coughs> that will be 9 8. Nine. Mm. 
Down the rink next to Peter and them to the right is Yaku and Luke. And I've seen them walk up to their head as well a couple of times, which is something that novices don't always do, you know. Yes. Not, not asking enough information and not going to the head when they can. So I'm glad to see the novices are are learning quickly and using those opportunities to go and gain information about what's happening in the head. You have to have full confidence in the shot that you want to play. And there's Luke. I was probably drawing a shot there. At the moment there's just one shot difference between Peter Harvey and Stefan Kuhn. Harvey 9, Kuhn 8 shots. Stefan Kuhn, he's a, he's a very fierce competitor. competitor. He, and you know, I, I really think he's, he's got such a beautiful delivery for somebody that's just started playing bowls to watch him. Yeah. That back leg which he bends to give him all the... Oh, the balance is absolutely perfect. And a delivery like that deserves something like that, Eddie. <laughs> oh, look at our spectators on the banks. They're enjoying it. I must say, Durban always attracts a lot of spectators yeah. to finals. Peter Harvey is not going to be outdone. And he's taken that shot away from Stefan, I think. That straight arm. He does tend to start at quite high when he aims. Yes. So the back swing is quite big. Yeah, where is the, the ball starts quite high. Peter's, Peter's arm is at an angle, whereas Stefan is horizontal. That tends to build up a bit of kinetic energy in your shoulder. Excellent. Well, Stefan will have to do something here. He has. He's looking to find Peter's ball and a great shot. And that's a great shot. <clears throat> you know, it's really lovely to watch when he bowls. I've often played against him, and uh, I've always said he can play all the shots in the book. Now Peter has examined the head quite closely. Will he be able to change matters a bit? There's the push action. It's on the line. On the line, what a ball. The Peter Harvey. I saw the last two or three ends when he played Joel in the last 16. Also, a very tight game, just bringing in one ball at a time. <laughs> yeah, you know, Peter. He was actually a bit behind him. He, he, fought from, he came from behind to beat Joel. 
the last time I watched Peter Harvey here was you say it was the Masters when he lost here to Nick Rusling. And I think today he's determined that it's not going to happen again today. He he's made the final and he wants to do it. Scored at the moment after ten ends. Peter Harvey ten and uh, Stefan Kuhn eight. Oh, could have been champions of champions. Was I the champions of champions called? Uh, uh, champion of champions was at Meadow Ridge uh, earlier this year. He didn't play no, there, but I think it was last year. Could be the champion of champions, yeah. Well, Eddie, we are going to get a visitor here just now. Uh, Jenny Phillips well done. Uh, from the Western Province Executive and I'll tell you a little bit about it just now but she's going to tell our viewers all about it. Uh, Stefan holding shot at this stage. Uh, it's about the Masters that's going, the BSA Masters that's taking place uh, here in Cape Town at the Western Province Cricket Club. Um, I think it's from the 17th to the 19th of March mm. and uh, but she said she'd like to come and give our viewers uh, all the information and so on. So we'll have two Phillipses here. <laughs> oh, I believe I am family from Alan Phillips somewhere. He's great-grandfather, my great-grandfather or cousins or something. Okay, so distant uh, relations, mm. yeah. Well, good. Huh. Stefan is not covering both sides there. Well, it, you know, this is a ding-dong battle. Uh, Stefan held after the first bowls by each player were bowled. He was holding shot. Then Peter Harvey took it away, and now Stephen has just drawn the shot. And uh, I thought the ding dong battle was going to continue, but that's just pulled up a little bit short. Etienne Malerbe indicates it's approximately one meter. Oh, now we're going to have a lovely view of Stefan. As if his back leg was moving a bit when he delivered there. He obviously had to change his line yeah, because of that's his right. ball, so and yeah. it's a new weight. Now there's a match 18-10. No, sorry, it's eight, is it? Yeah. 10 8. Oh, yeah, that's our game. It's just that that little thing on the board there is a little bit uh, confusing. I think Stefan is still holding the shot at this stage. Can he put another one in there and make it two? Then it'll be even Stevens. Uh, just a bit short. Uh, the shade again also makes it more difficult to see. To judge, yeah. You think, to <laughs> think it's further, but then you, once you start measuring, it's... There go our jogging <laughs> marker. Speed <Gonzalez. laughs> Speedy. <laughs> keeping an eye on the novice men as well, just next to Peter and then seems like Yaku is holding at least first shot, might measure the second, and that 
will push him up to 15-7 against Luke. Yeah, Jakub van Tonder, he's a great talent. Uh, he hasn't been bowling very long. Can't be no, more than 18 months. Yeah, he's also about two years now. He's yeah. also a great golfer. Yeah. See the other scores next to them is 15-8. We'll try and figure out who's, who's up there. Our marker is on his knees at this uh, novice final between Jakub van Tonder and the man from uh, Constantia Rothbath in the men's novice final. Ladies final scores are 15 7. I'm not quite sure who's up there. I will watch closely. I think Yaku got a shot or two there. Uh, only two shots. Score now in the novice final um, between Yaku van Tonder and is it Mike Roth? Rothbart, eh? No, no, that's Luke Ellis. Oh, it's Lu oh, Luke Ellis. Yeah. Sorry, Luke Ellis. Luke Ellis, yeah. That's 16 7 in favor of um, Jakub van Tonde from Durbanville. Well, he's got uh, home ground advantage. That's very fortunate for him. But he has been playing some very good bowls. And towards the end of some of the other matches, we will give you the final scores. At the moment, Peter Harvey is holding shot. Stefan's, Stefan's final bowl. This end. Score at the moment 10 9 in favor of Peter Harvey. The men's veterans, it seems like Ian is up nicely against Tom 17 7. And he's Holding three, so he can go to 20. They actually might be measuring for a fourth. I mean, that is bad. First game's finished. Ian, Ian beat Tom. Oh. 21 7. Well, congratulations to Ian Rothbath from the Constantia Bowling Club. He beat Tom Binns 21 7. And uh, he is the veterans champion uh, for this year, the 2023 Personal Trust Western Province Veterans Singles Competition. Right, Ian is also quite an active coach, so it's nice to see the coaches getting time to play as well. <laughs> and do well. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> 
They put a lot of effort into uh, the sport and, uh, well, it's good when they get rewarded. It's very good. Well, just came through there. On the previous end, Peter Harvey picked up two shots and the score is now 12-9 to Peter Harvey from Constantia. Side. It seems like Mo is picking up a bit. She was quite a few shots down. Score there is 15 11 for Susan McKay Flock. Yeah, Susan McKay Flock also an uh, inter districts bowler. Uh, I don't think Mo has as yet reached uh, the. No, no, she's, uh, she's she, third, yeah. Oh, she? Oh, she's in the same side, actually. Oh, are they in the same side? Um, well, that shows you how she's made progress, because I know when she beat Maggie Van Salia two or three years ago, she was a novice at that stage, so she's done very well. Now, Peter Harvey has drawn a shot there. He's up 12-9 against Stefan Kuhn. I think Stefan tried to trail the jack there, but just missed. You could see in Peter's face he knew he did a bit too much and it was a bit of a flick anyway. So he got a good result. Yeah. It would appear that Jaku van Tonde is also making some good progress. The score at the moment between him and his opponent is 16-9. The ladies is quite close, only 15-14. Not exactly sure who's up there. That's Diane uh, Pinar versus uh, uh, Berdeen Smith. Smith. Yeah. Got a back ball now. Now the wind seems to be a little bit stronger now if I look at the flags, Eddie. Ooh. But it always picks up a bit towards the uh, late afternoon. Picked up two shots there against Sylvia.
Well, it does look as if Stefan's bowl is closer. But I think Stefan has taken one bowl out already, isn't it so? Mm. They're measuring for two. Again. Well, the umpire has got to come and do some duty. It'll be Mr. Alan Phillips. Represented no. by his wife. It's his Jenny. wife, Jenny. <laughs> oh. I wonder she hasn't joined you yet. Well, yeah, she hasn't <laughs> been yet because that's the reason why she's uh, on duty. <laughs> Anyhow, while they're doing the measurements there, I must just tell you about the BSA Masters that's taking place from the 17th to the 19th of March here in Cape Town. And the venue for that will be the Western Province Cricket Club. So if you want to come and watch some excellent bowls, that is the place where you've got to be during that period. 17th. To 19th of March. Well, they've changed the format a little bit. It's two two sets of nine. It's not straight 21 anymore. I wasn't aware of that. And they play four games. Two sets of nine, and they'll be playing four games. Okay. Jakko has picked up four on that last end and he's now 29 up against Luke. Yeah. That measure went Peter's way, so Stephen only. Oh, Peter Harvey only got one, so. So the ball did Stephen. Oh, yeah. Shot. yeah. Peter Harvey won. 13 ends played. Peter Harvey. Leading by four shots, score That was played with a little bit more weight, uh, Eddie. Yeah. Still not there. <laughs> Peter places a tremendous amount of weight on his front foot mm. when he bowls. Got two good bowls at the back if he can trail the jack towards them. Our energetic uh, marker is in amongst the bowls there, he's indicated. I think Stefan asked. Well, still open, Jack. Yes. Also short. It's uh, 
This is uh, unlike uh, Stefan Kuhn. Uh, he, he's bowed three not so good bowls. If you look at the ring behind him, that's the novice's head yeah. versus Peter in there's head. Yeah, I think those novices, they draw like anything. <laughs> <laughs> it's just crazy how it happens. All of a sudden, nobody Yeah, knows. just look at those lovely bolts there. Looks like Peter's. Peter's got good weight here. I think so far, if nothing drastically changes or changes, I think this is the worst head that the two of them have played today. Mm. Oh, Stefan is not going to leave it alone. And he's got a smile on his face. I think one of the spectators has made a remark. <laughs> Stefan. Are they calling on the marker again? Fourteen ends completed, and uh, Peter Harvey has got a two-shot lead over Stefan Kuhn. Very closely contested final this. Peter Harvey playing out of the Constantia Bowling Club, and Stefan Kuhn, he is from Somerset West in the... the is it the Helderberg Basin there? Yeah. That's what they call it. Those clubs there, Somerset West, Helderberg, Strand, Gordons Bay. Now just on the ladies' final, Susan McKay Flock is up 18-11 against Mo, holding two. And she just rolled through with her last ball. Desperately trying That's to better from Peter Harvey compared to the previous end. It seems to me they like bowling from west to east. Twenty eleven against Mo. Yep, we'll watch that closely. Yaku is up twenty eleven against Luke, also lying quite close to the jack. President Peter Harvey seems to be holding two shots. Can Stephen, Stefan Kuhn close that gap slightly? A good bit of play there by Stefan Kuhn. He got a ball inside, most probably holding the shot. Yeah, 
after he was two shots down, he's come up to the head to survey things. And Peter Harvey, with his final fourth bowl on this, the 15th end. Score 13-11 in favour of Peter Harvey. That's a stronger shot that he's played there. He's trying to run it and um, not successful. So Yaku on the men's novices. <coughs> Sylvia Burns is up against also be there nineteen thirteen after nineteen ends. <coughs> Novice ladies are Quite close. I think it's 17-15 to Diane Pinar. Eddie, can you remember? Can you remember what the score was between uh, Jakob van Tonder and Ellis Lake? Uh, was it 20, 11 21-11. Thank you very much. So, second game finished so far here at the 2023. Personal Trust Finals, the novice men's section won by Jaku van Tonder from the Durbanville Bowls Club and the score in that match that he played against Alice Lake is 21-11. Is it Alice Lake or Luke, not? Luke Ellis. Sorry, I've got it all wrong. Luke Ellis. Apologies, Luke Ellis. I gave me the wrong information when I took it down from them. Good. So, let me just repeat that. Jakub van Tonde, victorious over Luke Ellis, 21-11. And uh, well done to Jakub van Tonde from the Durbanville Bowls Club here in Cape Town. I think we're still going to hear a lot of him. And at the moment... So it's was down three there and she pulled in a shot. Thanks, Eddie, for watching those other games for us. Um, I see Peter Harvey is only one shot ahead now of Stefan Kuhn. Score 13 12 of the 15 ends. In the ladies' final, Susan McKay Flock is up 20 15 against Mo. Yaku is a family man with two boys, they're very excited that they had one. So I can imagine. <laughs> there are also two youngsters that will start playing soon. Excellent bowl by Peter Harvey. He draws the shot. I think he's feeling that gap is just getting a little bit too close. It's only one between him and Stefan Kuhn at present. And I'm sure Stefan wants to change things a bit. He's not going to be short, not on line. And Harvey still holds the shot. And the ladies novice, Diane Pinar is down 18, 15, 16. There was nearly damage done there, but luckily he's bowl stayed with the jack and uh, Peter Harvey is going to just pick up one shot
And according to my scorecard, it must be 14-12. Thank you, Cole. Um, on the ball. I think I, I must just uh, say thank you to our cameraman and the man in charge of this whole uh, broadcast for you, Noel Solomon. And then Cole, who is uh, Cole Solomon, his son, who is doing all the controls here for us. And then the other two cameramen is Logan Hodges and Bryce Hodges. Thanks for the excellent uh, photographs that you are giving us. And I'm, I'm very glad that I had Eddie Phillips with me today to give me some assistance because, you know, your eyes have got to be all over. There's a tremendous amount of matches taking place. And Eddie has kept us up to date. So far, two games completed. Eddie? Yeah. Mo has picked up another two shots. So the ladies' finals is 2017. Susan McKay's flop play. Susan can close it down here if she wants to. Is that right? 2017, you say? Yeah. But Mo is also a very strong player. She's got a lot of, a lot of guts. She uh, does not give up. Sylvia Burns is up 19-15 against Elsby. Yeah, Elsby's uh, Snowman's game has really improved. Uh, I've seen her play in classics and things like that, and she's always up in, with the prizes. She's really having a, a wonderful season at present. First time in her career, and she's been playing bowls for quite a long time, that she's in a Western Province final. Diane Pinar is lying down three at the moment, and the score was 18-16 against her, so this could be the end of the game if she doesn't cut down there. Yo, she pushed in one of her own balls. I think she might have got shot or at least cut down to just one. At the moment, the game that we are showing you, there's only two shots in it. Peter Harvey up against Stefan Kuhn. 14-12 and I'm sure Stefan is going to try very hard to change that and with that bowl he's just delivered he has drawn the shot Peter Harvey's final bowl in this end the 17th Can Stefan draw another shot in there and peel against Peter Harvey? I'm sure he's going to give it all he's got. I like his line. I think he's just made it. And while I'm looking closely at what's happening here in this game that we are bringing to you, Eddie's got a, a hawk eye on the other games that are close to finishing. And as we get the result, we will give it to you because a lot of our viewers have got some interest in those other games as well. Yep, Sylvia Burns just beat Elsabee. That would be 21 16. 21.15, sorry. I think else we played very well to keep her to that. She was actually up quite a bit at one stage. Right, there we, Eddie has given us the results. Sylvia Burns, the international player, 
She's represented South Africa numerous occasions playing out of the Mowbray Bowls Club. She beat Elsebe Snyman 21-15 uh, and a very good effort by Elsebe Snyman. And in the visuals that we are bringing you, this match, it is where they've started off. They peeling the score 14 all. And uh, very good. Uh, Stefan Kuhn making an excellent fight back. But I don't think. Peter Harvey would like to see this one slip again away from him once again. But he's got a very fierce competitor against him in Stefan Kuhn. It seems like the ladies are shaking hands, so Susan McKay flop. Ditch the jack with her last ball to pick up one. So she beat Mo 21-16. Thank you, Eddie. Right, just to uh, repeat what Eddie has just given us. The ladies, S Suzanne Mackay Flock, beat Molo 21-16 in the ladies uh, final of the Personal Trust Western Province ladies singles for 2023. The ladies novice is also quite nice, tightly contested. Berdeen was up 19-16, but I think Diane pulled in shot there. Eddie, while you've been watching those other games uh, taking place, compared to the head that we saw just now, where the bowls were quite far away from the from the jack, this is far better. Look at this. Those four bowls are very, very close. Stefan Kuhn, he's decided. It's so close, he'd like to stroll up to the head, have a good look. And I don't know who's... I just saw a shadow there. Did you see that, Cole? <laughs> <coughs> Can Stefan draw the shot off? His line looks very good just falling away a wee bit. Peter Harvey is holding the shot and I'm sure he's just going to try and draw another one in there to see if he can open up a little bit of a gap. We've spoken a lot about his action that he bowls with. It looks as if he pushes the ball Lots of weight on his front foot. This looks good grass. Oh, just slipping by. <clears throat> and 
As you see them there, what do you think, Eddie? One or two shots? Looks like Peter's got a second one as well. That yeah. It's in line with the jack. Correct. But uh, Stefan's bowl is flat. Mm -hmm. So, uh, okay, there the one goes out. And I think he's going to... Is he going to call for a measure? Oh, they've decided. Let's watch. That pitch has taken two cards. Looks like only one. Fourteen sixteen. Is it fourteen sixteen? Two shots then. Okay. 19 ints completed, 16-14 to Peter Harvey over Stefan Kuhn. The hand picked up a shot there, so she's 17-19 down against Mardine. So she's putting up a bit of a fight. Yeah. That's very good. Great start by Peter. On that hand that uh, Stefan is playing so far this often, he, he just seems to go a little bit wide. Can it be the uh, wind that comes past the clubhouse on that side that's perhaps holding the bow back from turning in more? I don't know. This side where they're bowling to is protected from the wind. Oh, yes, I see. Wind, yeah, I think they might be feeling the wind, thinking yeah. it's wider. Yeah. But it's maybe not quite but, as Yeah, wide. that's right. Yeah, because they're bowling towards us here. Looks like a better track. This is a very important head, because if Peter Harvey can pick up two or three here, then he's going to open the gap up quite considerably. But it'll most probably be the biggest that the gap has been in this whole game. Holding two at this stage. I see the mat is up. The mat is up at least two or three meters. Now, which player can adjust best? I think the moment is quite tense, so Stefano oh, yeah. is probably just tenses up a little bit and push through. That's right. Can Stefan draw this shot off? It looked a lot more smoother and just... Oh, he was looking for a little whip there onto the jack, but it didn't. So it looked, it seems like another two to Peter Harvey. Mm. I think this lighter patch here before the jack seems to make the bowl just roll and doesn't slow down. Mm -hmm. Eddie, what's happening in that novice game there? I see uh, Berdine is up at 2017. Yeah. So can Berdine, uh, can she close it down here? Mm. She's coming up a bit oh, short. And they had a novice men in the uh, lady playing in the uh, mixed pairs final yes that's right uh, brenda her name was uh, surname was hubert wasn't it brenda 
Yeah, it could be Brenda. No, I, I think it could be, could be in my little bookie, yeah? So, oh, Constantius definitely had a couple of nice novices coming through as well. Yeah, it was Brenda Hubert who was in the mixed pairs. In the mixed pairs. And she's a novice. So they're doing uh, very, very well with the newcomers at their club. We must give uh, Constantia some credit. Now Stefan Kuhn has really got to st step it up a bit in another gear. Um, because the gap is now four shots. And load shedding is going to start at two o'clock. And as things stand at the moment, uh, we are not very close to finishing this game. Cole, we're going to try uh, as long as possible. Uh, hey, this load shedding. Uh, sometimes here in Durbanville uh, they say two o'clock and it only goes off at ten past or quarter past. So let's hope it's going to happen this afternoon. Then we'll be able to bring our viewers the, the end of these games. And then uh, there Stefan Kuhn has just picked the uh, jack up, but he didn't stay with it. Difficult to see from here whether. I think Peter is still holding it. Yeah, I think Peter is still holding that shot. Diane is just holding two, so she's 19-20 against 13. What a wonderful effort uh, by um, Diane. She's, she's really uh, trying her heart out. She practices a lot. Yeah, she does. Put, put she's very really dedicated, yeah. very dedicated. We see her here on the greens, often practicing. I think she's a lady that set herself some goals, which is wonderful to see. Stefan. Just that one. Oi, oi, oi. That's not what you want right now. Can Peter Harvey increase the gap between him and Stefan? This looks a good ball, Eddie. Yeah, that's two. That's two. Cole, mm -hmm. we might still make it before load shedding. <laughs> <laughs> Depends what Stefan Kuhn is going to do now. Very interesting. Our energetic uh, marker is called upon. Eddie, will you just keep an eye on that uh, scoreboard there where Diane Pinar mm. and uh, Berdeen uh, Smith are playing? Because that's very close. One of them has got 20 already. Twenty nineteen over Dean. to call the umpire again. Okay. We have an umpire's call here, and it's Mr. Alan Phillips that will officiate. Okay. 
score at the moment in this match that we are bringing to you. Peter Harvey 18, Stefan Kuhn 14, so that means Harvey leads by four shots. And at present, the umpire is busy with a measure. The novices wanted the marker to give them the shot while they were still on this side and the marker says, no, you can give the shots. I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> yeah, who's the marker there? Is it Lou? Tanya, no. Tanya. Oh, Tanya. Yeah, well, um, Alan Phillips is busy uh, making 100% sure. Just a reminder again about the BSA Masters that's taking place from the 17th to the 19th of March here in Cape Town at Western Province Cricket Club. For those of you who would like to really come and watch some fantastic bowls played by the cream of South Africa bowls, it'll be at Western Province Cricket Club from the 17th to the 19th. And now, an uh, interesting development on the other side there where the ladies, novices, are peeling 20 all. Eddie, how many ends have they played? 21 or 23? 20, 23. 23. 23 ends. So, a tremendous uh, tussle going on there. And we're going to watch that carefully. Now, what have we got here? Okay, now our cameraman has given us a lovely shot there. For you to see, that's that was the novice ladies final, and that's between Diane Pinar from Durbanville and Berdeen Smith from Constantia. Now the big question is: Can Stefan Kuhn fight back in this final, the men's final? He's four shots adrift, but a very good first ball. Stefan won one shot, so it's 18-15. Yes, with all the excitement about the novices, I forgot to <laughs> fill in my scorecard. Thanks, Eddie, for helping me out. And uh, Stefan has only three shots adrift now. And he drew, he, his first uh, ball he drew beautifully. And the local crowd here seems to like the bowl there in the novices that's come up, and I think that's Diane Pinar's bowl. And there was a very good bowl bowl by the lady from Constantia. And now let's give a little bit of attention to this one here, Peter Harvey. Can Stefan close the gap? I guess that was the percentage shot to play just onto himself there. And even if he slipped yes. the front ball. Yeah. Stefan is still holding the shot. Peter Harvey came off that bowl and he's got the shot at present.
Eddie, I don't know whose bowl is close there to the jack uh, at the ladies' novices. Uh, looks like Berdeen. Looks one. like Berdeen, yeah. Stefan is going to play Pete out. Chop the line. Beautiful shot. Beautiful shot. And this is a crucial time in the match. He did move the jack a little bit yeah. away from his first ball, so it might only still be one. Only one at this stage, yes. Could be a measure for the second. What shot would you play, Tom? Still on the forehand, even across. I think I will play the forehand. He's showing, he's playing the backhand. No, he's playing forehand. Is he playing forehand? He's falling down steer from. <laughs> okay. Uh, that, that's one to steer from. Yeah. Thanks, Kyle. After the prize giving today, they will obviously have the capping of some of the Western Province and the junior squad that's going to bloom for nationals. There's, oh. there's a whole ceremony. Yeah, there's a there's a huge ceremony going to take place, the capping, and then the Western Province uh, teams that's going to be in a practice match. Mm. That'll be interesting to watch. But now we have to uh, pray that Eskomani goes off later. Yeah, it's 2 o'clock. Give us 10 minutes, Eskom, please. Uh, it's 18.16 to Peter Harvey in this, the men's final. I uh, wonder if we can get uh, some confirmation who won the ladies. Uh, novices, Eddie, if you can help us. Bertin, Bertin Smith, Constantia. Yeah. Right, some of the spectators, very much, they came and they told us that Bertin Smith won that 21.20. Fantastic. Yeah. They're doing quite well. Excellent yeah. start from Peter there. Going through with the jack. Finding the line on that from that side, but he's been short a couple of times. Yeah, we're due to have load shedding at two o'clock, but as I said earlier on. Normally, ESCOM gives us about 10 minutes grace. They only put it off at about 10 past. So hopefully we can bring you the final uh, right to the end. Um, at the moment, 18-16 of the 21 ends in favor of Peter Harvey. Push action is unbelievable. He can be effective at times. Mm -hmm. Now, Stefan has bowled well, uh, but he's been battling going towards the church side. He's, he's, Good lines, but he's been short. He's yeah, short uh, he seems to be short there. I don't think he's going to be short this time unless he gets a bowl in front. He rolls himself in. He, sells, he rolls himself in. <laughs> now, 
It will be interesting to see what Peter Harvey is going to do. I think he's going to play his forehand and try and push Stefan's bowl through. Well, if he does that, he stands a chance of perhaps winning this game with that shot. Let's see if he's successful. Lots of weight on that front foot. One to Stefan. Yep. We're going to try our very best. Hopefully, ESCOM is going to give us a few minutes grace. But in the meanwhile, I'm going to give you the results of the other matches that have finished. The ladies have all finished. Normally, they don't finish as quickly as the men, but today it's different. Ladies, Susan. Mackay Flock beats Molo 21-16 and she plays that Susan Mackay Flock, she plays out of Helderberg. The international player who's represented South Africa a few times, Sylvia Burns, beat Elsebe Sneeman 21-15 and Sylvia is from the Mowbray Bowls Club. And then Berdeen Smith from Constantia beat Diane Pinar from Durbanville in a closely contested match, 21-20. Men so far, in the vets, Ian Rothbath beat Tom Burns 21-17, and Rothbath is also from the Constantia Bowls Club, and the novices, Jakub van Tonder, beat Luke Ellis 21-11. So Jakub van Tonder has kept the Durbanville name high here today, but so far, uh, Constantia is not doing badly. Uh, Ian Rothbard is already there. And Bedeen Smith is from Constantia. Now, the big question is, can Peter Harvey uh, be uh, the third winner for Constantia here today? Score at the moment, 18-17 in favour of Peter Harvey. And they're playing the 23rd end. But Stefan Kuhn has definitely not given up. Oh, Stefan Kuhn trying to t uh, trail the jack, but it just touched it on the wrong side. And uh, at this stage, Peter Harvey is still holding the shot. Can he put another one there? We are hoping that we can show you the end of this match. Peter Harvey is uh, helping us in that respect, drawing a lovely second shot. This could be the match. Peter Harvey holding two shots at present. All right, thank you to everybody trying very hard here at Durbanville Bowls Club. Uh, we're uh, got some uh, generator power here with us and we are able to continue and this final the men's final very closely contested match at the moment the score is 18 all they are peeling and they've played 24 ends and it'll be interesting to see what happens now uh, on the other side there because it seems to me that Stefan Kuhn has uh, drawn the shot. I'm not quite sure, can't quite see it. 
Um, uh, Peter Harvey. Peter Harvey got the shot. Let's just check that uh, flipboard. He picked up two. I really thought that this was going to be the first time that Stefan Kuhn was going to lead in this men's final, the 2023 Personal Trust Western Province men's final. So Peter Harvey on that end, 26th end, or the 25th end has picked up two. So he goes to 20 and Stefan Kuhn is going to try and uh, change matters a bit so that he can stay in this match, take it a bit further. And luckily, we don't have to rely any further on ESCOM at this stage. Uh, the generator is going and they've managed to link us up and we are so thankful that we can bring you the end of this, the 2023 men's final, sponsored by Personal Trust. Peter Harvey's first bowl is uh, Jack High. Stefan Kuhn. Trailing by two shots. It's a crucial stage of this game. Harvey just needs one shot and then he's the Western Province men's singles winner. And Stefan Kuhn's bowl has gone through about a meter and a half. Peter Harvey plays a brilliant bowl shot. He picks up the jack, stays with it, and the marker does the necessary to put the toucher mark onto the bowl. Watch, let's watch this bowl closely, delivered by Stefan Kuhn. Can he pick up the jack? He tries very hard and he takes it to the back. It's a brilliant bowl by Stefan Kuhn. And he's holding two shots. And as we said earlier today, this man, Stefan Kuhn, he can play all the shots that is displayed in a bowls uh, book uh, of the various shots that people can play. And he's just demonstrated that to us. I think uh, Eddie, you are still with me. Thanks for helping to get us generated power. <laughs> Eddie, I think if something happens in this match here today and Stefan perhaps wins here, that will be the turning point, that yeah. shot that he's just played. Because Peter Harvey was right up next to the jack. Now let's see. The man with the push action, what's he going to do here? Thanks for your help, Eddie, in giving us the opportunity to continue with our broadcast. But you are the manager, so yeah. yeah <laughs> Part of the job, old chap. <laughs> well and done. Stefan's ball is lying practically just in front yeah. of it. So you, yeah. if you try and play it out, it's going to go into yeah. a ditch. Wall. And it's a toucher, mm -hmm. yeah. That's most probably what Stefan will try and do. If he can draw a third shot. He's winning. If he draws the third shot, he wins. That's why I say that that if if he if he draws another shot, Stefan, that bowl that he played there when he picked it up, the jack, and trailed it, he that will be the, the turning point in this match. You know, I've just checked here, Stefan has never been ahead in this entire match. Huh. They've peeled twice, but he's never held the lead. So a little bit play the other side. I mean, uh, so he's played this line so much better most yeah. of the time. So a little bit of pressure, I think, got to uh, Peter Harvey there. I think can Stefan could achieve this shot. by drawing a third shot, and he will be the <laughs> Western Province men's winner. He's the singles winner, Stefan Kuhn. Now, Eddie, isn't yeah, that? And the first, now. Eddie, the first time in the match that he's leading. And with those, the three shots that he picks up there, he wins 21 20.
Excellent. Uh, he's a big chap. He, uh, <laughs> Stefan must be a happy chappy. <laughs> he must be a very happy chappy. Well, there it is. The men's final won by Stefan Kuhn of the Helderberg, sorry, the Somerset West Bowls Club. Uh, and uh, he was never ahead in the whole game. Yes, they peeled twice in the match. Oh, well, it's but, game. but then uh, he played a magnificent shot to trail the jack. His bowl stayed and he drew a third shot. And for the first time in the game, he was ahead. And that was good enough, 21-20. Just to recap, we'd like to give you uh, the results of all the other matches. Tom, uh, and I, I see Eddie, Eddie has got to leave us because he's got other duties to do and we say thank you to Eddie Phillips for assisting us today with a commentary. It was really good to have him with us. The men's then, the winner, Stefan Kuhn. The vets was won by Ian Rothbard uh, against Tom Bins of 21-7. And the novice, uh, the score was 21-11 in favor of Jakub van Tonder against Luke Ellis uh, from Constantia. Van Tonder, of course, plays out of Durbanville. Then we go to the ladies. The ladies' uh, final was won by Susan Mackay Flock, 21-16 against Mo Lowe. The Vets was Sylvia Burns, beat LCB Snayman 21-15. And the novice uh, uh, final was Berdine Smith from Constantia that beat Diane Pinar 21-20. And while the one Phillips has left me, the other Phillips has joined me, and that's Jenny Phillips. And I have told you on a few occasions during commentary today that we're going to have the BSA Masters on the 17th to the 19th of March in Cape Town. The venue for that is Western Province Cricket Club. And Jenny Phillips would like to tell us more about that. Thanks very much. Oh, we are very excited to be able to host this prestigious tournament in Cape Town this year. Um, it's the first time in Cape Town that it's been held with the juniors, the Opens and the Vets at the same time in one venue. There is only one club that can host it um, because we've got four Greens at Western Province Cricket Club. The Green staff have been doing phenomenal work to get the Greens looking beautiful and playing nicely. And we're really looking forward to seeing some brilliant bowls. So for those of you who weren't selected to play, those of you who haven't volunteered to mark an umpire, and believe me, we couldn't run this tournament without those volunteers, and we really hope to look after you. We hope to see you at Western Province Cricket Club over the three days, the 17th, 18th, 19th. Um, there will be um, meals on sale for spec or uh, bury rolls and things on, sp on sale for spectators. And yeah, it would be lovely to see you at Western Province Cricket Club. Bring a chair, bring a brolly, just in case we haven't got enough and come and see some phenomenal goals. Uh, thanks, Jenny. I also believe that the format for this year has changed. Yes, that's the first time we're playing two sets of nine ends. Instead of three sets of seven? No, instead of first to 21. Oh, 21. Singles is normally first to 21, oh. and this is the first time we're playing two sets of nine ends, and should there be a tie between the two um, sets or players, then um, they'll go to a three-end tiebreaker and the most number of shots scored will then win the game. So it's a different format, it's going to be interesting for the tournament officials who've never um, uh, umpired and marked for this kind of format, but we've got some brilliant standing committee people on, on hand who will guide everybody and it also, I think, will make it a little bit um, more uniform in terms of the length of the games because you won't have like you've just had in this phenomenal men's final that we've just watched now that went I think to 25 ends the maximum it can go is 21 ends so we won't have long drawn out games um, which will make it very exciting and I mean I, all our current Springboks will be there bowling so yeah it's not an opportunity to be missed. Thank you very much Jenny yes that's a very prestigious event that's going to take place 
at the Western Province Cricket Club Bowls uh, section and the date, please diarise that, the BSA Masters, it's going to be staged on the 17th to the 19th of March and uh, we wish Western Province the best of luck with all the organisation that's behind a tournament like this. Thanks very much for your input, Jenny. Thanks, Tommy. Enjoy the rest of the afternoon and the capping. Very exciting stuff coming up now. Yeah, we told you, very exciting stuff here, Durbanville. Um, the capping ceremony is going to take place now and also then the Western Province teams are going to play a practice match against one another. Well, we're getting uh, ready for the uh, ceremony that's going to take place and that is where the winners of this very uh, prestigious uh, Western Province Singles Competition sponsored by Personal Trust is going to take place uh, and uh, it is uh, fantastic all the people that is here I'm sure in the background you can hear a lot of noise uh, but you know They've all enjoyed it and I see some of the umbrellas are starting to blow over the green so the wind is definitely picking up in strength. So the officials has brought all the uh, trophies and things out. And I think while we've got some time, while they're getting everything ready, I'm just going to give you the results of this, the 2023 Western Province Singles Final, sponsored by Personal Trust. Let's start with the ladies first. The ladies, Susan Mackay Flock beat Mo Low. Susan Mackay Flock is from Helderberg, a bowls club. And she beat Mo Lo from Mowbray 21-16. In the Vets, it was our Protea player, Sylvia Burns, who's played lots of times for South Africa. And she played again, and she's from Mowbray, and she played against Elsie Snyman from the Belleville Bowls Club. And Sylvia Burns being victorious by 21 shots to 15. And then in the novices we saw a tremendous tussle between Diane Pinar from Durbanville and Berdine Smith from Constantia Bowling Club. But in the end it was Berdine Smith that just managed to get there first and she beat uh, Diane Pinar 21-20 but a magnificent uh, uh, match between these two novices. In the men's, we had quite an interesting match. It was between Peter Harvey and Stefan Kuhn. And Stefan Kuhn, he played a magnificent shot uh, on the 27th end where he, Peter Harvey was the shot. He trailed the jack nearly into the ditch.
we've got for you from this, the Western Province uh, singles finals played at Durbanville Bowls Club uh, and sponsored by our main sponsor here in the Western Cape, Personal Trust. One, two, one, two, it's working.
The bar was filled, stocked. Uh, thank you for the officials. Thank you, Marcus. Um, yeah, it's it's really great and and really Durbanville for hosting and getting this this much visitors here. Uh, great, great stuff, Durbanville. All right. Yeah, and now it's prize giving time. Firstly, well done to all the players. Uh, gotten through from wherever you started, quarterfinals, semifinals, there were some close games. Um, and even today, really, I'm, I must go and practice a bit because, wow, what I saw, very well, very well played. So we start off with the ladies, novices. And we go from quarterfinals. C. Porter from Sunningdale. I'm not sure if all the quarterfinals are here. Is, is that you? Yeah. Yes, please. Yeah. Very well done. Very well done. Um, uh, uh, Annie, sorry. So I will help you off and then just, just wait for the... Well, we wait for the whole... Yeah. Annie Stein, also called the finalist. Durbanville. She is here All right. Okay, cool. I will keep it. Susan Annandale. Pinelands. No. Quarter finalist number four. My bed. Mabel, sorry. Gioli. Durbanville. I oh, say so he's not here. All right. Well done to them. Then semi finalist. Played a great game, was very tight. Angie DeVette, Durban Wall. We go. Thank well done, eh? Well done. Thank you. And then another semi finalist, Sean van Eistien, Mowbray. Well done. Well done, well done. There you go. Yes. Hi. Hi. Oh, no, I mean. Say it by Belleville, the lower ball spill. All right. So that's the quarter. First. Then, big game today, big match. Um, runner up, well done, Dai Pinar. And that's yours. Oh. <laughs> there you go. And a very, very well done to Berdeen Smith from Constantia. Well done. Your tree is in the post. So, okay. All right. We're still looking for him. But very well done. All right. Photo time. So let, let's just stand by the by the banner. By the banner. You can come stand in the front. You look at when you've got the cap. There we go. There you go. Where's our? Where are we looking at now?
Ne? Okay, bitte. Novice. All right, now the novice men go to finals. Alf and Vike, Somerset West. Bit far, I think. Oops. I, Janssen, Perro. Jay Peterson, Malmesbury, all over the country. And D. Burger Goodwood. Good. I think. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Not here? <laughs> all right. We will see to it that they get them. So, all right. Semi finalist Francois Klopper van Dermonville. Yeah. Well done. Very well done, eh? Jose. Uh, in Adrian Marie Sanningdal. Well done. Well done. Jose. Okay. Volgende jaar nog een. <laughs> right. Now for the big game, novice men. There must be a loser always. But look, Alice, you played well. Look. Well done, Nick. Well done, well done, Nick. There you go. And the silverware. Awesome, thank you. All right. And. Well done, Nick. Jakub van Tonder. Durban Wall. What's the skill? Well done. That was great. Photo tape. Photo time. All right, now we, now we get to the ladies' vets, veterans, quarterfinals again. Anthea Ricci, Edgemeet. You can. Cynthia McDueling, Elderberg. If you can take it along, please do. Right? Oh, there we go, thanks. Bertha Lane Stellenbosch. Bertha. Okay. Colleen Bryan. Mowbray. Well done. Please join us. You must. I will step you down. There we go. Then semi finalist Margaret Thomas. Yeah. Well. Ah. Ah. Well done. Well done. Well done. And Petronella Moka Stalamos. Well done, eh? Spill. <laughs> Oops, sorry, sorry. Aha! Close to my heart one. The finals of the ladies' vets. Elsie B. Sneijman. Your daughter. And that was Belleville. Well done. Well done, well done, well done. Yeah, in a different way. Oh, I'm 
Okay, okay, okay. Well done. All right. Yeah. And she still got it. Sylvia Burns, well done. Well done, well done, well done. Mooi gespeeld, hoor. Nummer hoeveel is dit? No, in wet one. First wet. First. How many opens? How many opens? None. That's the first of many, I'm sure. All right. Sorry? Oh, okay. Let's start. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now the men vets. I'm almost there. All right. Qual uh, quarterfinals. Jakub van Graan, Meadow Ridge. Not. Okay, yeah. okay, Casey Momentan. John John. Well done. There you go. Please join us. Andy Long, Meadow Ridge. Michael Hutton, Old Oak. Then in the finals, Nick Byrne, going his way, well done, Nick. Ah, oh, sorry, semi finalist, sorry. Terry. Nick, I saw him. Hey? Eh? Terry leave. And Neil Stofberg, Milnerton. That's the semi finalist. Aha. Uh -huh. Well done. Well done. Well done. Cheers. Thank you. All right. Now we get to the finals. Runner up. Another Mulleton guy. Tom Burns. Well done, John. I didn't know you can play balls. I thought you only you only moaned and groaned. I'm joking, but there we go. <laughs> and the winner and the reserve in our vet side, uh, Ian Robarth. Very well done, Ian. Very well done. Is it? Is it? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Well done. All right. Uh, ladies, open, quarterfinals, Angela Wolf. Well done. Well done, well done. No? <laughs> All right. Christelle Harold. Durbanwall.
Oh, thanks, Tim. Joe Fagan, Sunningdale. Oh, cool. Quarter finalist, Maggie von Sau. German one. Well done, well done, well done. Always there and thereabouts, eh? Mooi. All right, then um, the semi finalist that played this morning on the final day. Well done. Also close she's to my heart. Another court, sir. Goodwood Belleville. Well done. Thanks. Well done, well done, well done. And then Annika Sneeman. Good good. <laughs> always there, always there. <laughs> Mooi man. Well done. Well done. <laughs> All right, then very close game. Very good bowls. Really. Ladies. Open singles runner up Molo. Yeah. Mo well done. That is more to do And then And then from Helderberg in the basin, Susan Mackay Flock. Amazing, 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 amazing. Well done. Thank really you, well done. You. There you go. Thank you. Mooi gespeeld. Okay, now the open singles, men, quarter finalist, Doug Wyatt, Durbanville. Not sure, haven't seen him. Johnny D'Souza, Goodwood. He didn't come. Is he coming today? Alan Loftas, Constantia. I saw him earlier. He was here. All right. Anton Giani, Dermavo. Then the semi finalists. Losing semi finalist Neil Burkett. No great. Always there and always there and always there. Well done, Neil. Thanks. Well done. And uh, another Mowbray, Dave van der Waal. Okay, yeah. There we go. Alan is not here either. You, you look a bit lonely there. We'll get people now. <laughs> all right, and then you all watched it, the finals, the final few ends. Wow. And Peter, they must be a loser, but wow, what a game. Well done. Well done, well done, well done. I can take Alan's one as well if you like. Okay, Alan's one. There we go. Thank you. And then, Topi. Lekker Kuno! Stefan ons winner. Very well done. Right. 
fucker blijft bij jou ook. Kooi blijft bij jou. Dat is echt. Dat is echt. Die zit nog. Mooi man. What a guy, unbelievable. Green, the organization. This is my this is my home club from my home club. So I, I, just unbelievable to play ball here. Unbelievable um, competitors that I played against. Last nine rounds. Um, everything is just amazing. My eighth final, last I won something. <laughs> so, so, yeah. I'm, I'm over the moon. <laughs> <laughs> Just do it again. <laughs> that was the first part, and really, I must thank Personal Trust again for the sponsorship. I mean, this is what it's all about. These kind of competitions. All right, so now we get to the capping ceremony in two weeks' time. Sorry. Yes. Next week this time. 100%. Yeah. So I just want to say well done to all of you that got selected. You're 48 seniors and 24 juniors out of a 2,300-odd bowlers. I mean, if you think about that, really, take that to heart. And I want to thank the time that you, you are putting back in, into the sport. Really, it's not only talent, it's not only skill that gets you there. It's a lot of practice, it's a lot of time that you need to get on the, on the green and, and get together and do your practice sessions. Thanks for that. Also, a huge thank you to our selectors, um, Sandy and uh, Nico and your team, really for putting that commitment out there, getting the teams together, getting them to, to um, practice, communicate, get to know each other. I think the, the run-up to this inter-districts has been very, very, a, a lot of effort has been put into it, and I'm sure it's going to show. Then I also want to thank, there's a lot of things behind the scenes that happen and to my admin staff, if I can call them that, organizing the transport, the accommodation, Jenny, Chris at, in the office, Chris Narish and, and Denise, thanks for that. Jenny Phillips, thanks, you're standing with it for organizing the kit and seeing to it that you all fit in the right clothes, if I want. Then. I'm almost done, but I need to get this all off my heart. Some people say I don't like speeches, but actually I do, you see. <laughs> no. Make us proud if you go there. Be professional on and off the green. You know, I, th I think the rest of the country, if they think about Western Province, they actually expect us to do well. They expect a certain kind of sportsmanship from us. I've seen an interview with uh, Jerry Baker, a what, a year or two ago. Those other districts ex actually ex they expect Western Province to be up there. So let's go and give them what they actually want. Be windgat, but humble. Um, put everything in, into practice. It's, it's the team thing. I, th I know it's like a broken record, but play for the badge, play for your team, forget about yourself. And the most important of all is have fun and bring back the silverware. <laughs> we pay you lacquer, lacquer dan. Okay, so what we're gonna do now, first, 
is to those that new, absolutely new, first time um, capped as a Western Province player. Okay. Mariana Kirsten. Susan Weber. Yeah. 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 Take that one. Uh, well done. Well done, Susie. From Meadow Ridge, Elrico Grootboom. Close to my heart, Wendy Adams. Here. Yeah. Uh -huh. things in the basin in the Kispanung Bay. Okay. All right, so we introduced this last year and I think, yeah, you know, I, I think it's a great idea. This is your number forever. And we want to put on a lock on our website that that will come as well. So number three to six has played um, Western Province before, but then there weren't any caps. So our open singles lady well deserves that you get one, Susan Mackay Flock. Yeah. <laughs> And then also somebody that already played before, Cheryl Truter. He's not Iman, so he also played before, and then his game went to, hmm, and, he, <laughs> and, and he became a father, he got married, and all that, and... So pass! <laughs> Yeah. And from the same, no, from Sam Somerset West, also our open men winner, Pia van Groen.
And then from Constant, no, Cheryl is from Cheryl, Con Cheryl Saunders. Love said. Love Haven't seen you in a while. How are you? Thank you. Well done, eh? I'm very proud to hand out this one, my big friend, my Fricky Pretorius. take a team photo because all of you are almost here now so those with caps please come and join us on the green maybe ladies that side men that side and just yeah, yeah. So now, the last bit of the procedure, which is actually the most important part, is to do and to cap our juniors as well. The juniors are on their way in April to Bloemfontein, and we are very excited that we can host or we can take six teams under 25, under 18, and under 15, two of each. And I'm sure they're gonna they're gonna bring some medals back. I'm sure. All right. So <laughs> the first new cap, Caitlin Niemann. Tristan, Tristan, Trant, okay, Tristan, Kraut. Oh, say. There we go. Cut, cut, cut. Do Andre step? Daniel Vaughan. Yeah, there you go. 
on your way. <laughs> Ethan, could you know Justin Bring. Justin Bring. I think this guy is going to have like a, a rack of pizza. <laughs> Tyler Pitcher, you've got a junior one as well. <laughs> and, and so Jillian. And so Jillian, the same. I hear that Jillian and Tyler already played under 25 for other districts, but you didn't win anything, did you? Yeah, so this is the time now. Yeah, another one with two caps. Armand Vajay. Just goes to show the juniors are getting in the open sides. And then J191 is for Mackenzie Knight. That's it. All right, so. Just from a big in order, you never catch. Dog. Uh, Omri. Yeah. 